Okay, hello dear friends. So today I went to I went to Stanford University and uh, and uh, watched the exhibition and uh, and uh, so <clears throat> yesterday I went to San Francisco and did some of these. Uh, this uh, notes because now it is so easy that we get access with computer with uh, with camera and we always take a picture so easy easy come easy go so it is easy to take a picture but it's also easy to forget them so it's better to make some notes. One of the wave is kind of like this. Let me reproduce it. This is uh, some small, this one. All different. Let's do this one first. The paper should be like this. Do we put it there? No. So dirty this brush. Don't like it. Okay, some Okay, let's start. So
Okay, hello dear friends, good morning. This is the second morning and it got dried. Like it turned out. So, this is it. Okay, hello, good morning, dear friends. This one, I need your help. Yesterday, I went to a shop um, <clears throat> and uh, found some uh, beautiful ways, quite interesting. Sorry. Too many things here and there. Hello, dear mm. friends, good morning. So this one, I need your help. I need your uh, mathematic knowledge and uh, engineering knowledge and artistic knowledge. Myself, it's just not enough and my idea pop up too much. Okay, let me come to the point. So here you can see one ways. Yesterday I went to the shop. Maybe you cannot see very, very clearly, super duper clearly. It's a, a ways that um, that has a lot of holes and these holes are random holes so it's very interesting and it inspired me to do a project that uh, make a paper ways make the ways with paper it is hard to make such a vase just by polymer clay or, or <clears throat> air dry clay because it's so thin so i am thinking of making this project only with paper just a piece of paper wrap it up for example this one so i can wrap up a piece of paper And it becomes a tube, right? When I wrap it up, it becomes a tube, and then I punch some holes. And then today, as I looking for the paper, I found long time ago I have used this paper, I have painted this paper and it's kind of a fail. I didn't like it just like this and now I see it's quite interesting. How about making a ways of uh, this paper design, of the wave design. So it is at least more process in this piece of work. There is a first, you coloring this um, piece of paper so the students can learn to, to um, <clears throat> learn, students can have fun, just uh, play around with color, with liquid watercolor and uh, see the color change, see the water flow, how the water walks and reacts with color with pigments that's very that will be interesting and then today as i was looking for some round surface i found the tuna can i i used yesterday how about wrap it up oh this is not big enough so how about we wrap it up like this and it builds a base it's so much easier this way raise it high. 
it will be so much easier if I raise it up like this. And this design could be interesting. And then this can be a quite uh, fun ways and already have a base on it. I can glue some tape or use double-sided tape to to do that job, right? And then work on punching some holes here. How about I punch some holes right now with this? Maybe I will need to use my trees. You need to provide a soft surface for you to punch so that uh, can punch through. Okay, let's see. Punch, 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 punch. You can make it into an interesting design. Oh, just random part. See, with this, you can easily punch, and if without, you cannot do the punching. And uh... okay, this is an experiment. Uh oh. <laughs> You can actually go back. Maybe you make sure you do not. Uh, that will be a really uh, fun. I can I can already see some of the students having fun with it, boy or girl. <laughs> I know some of the students must have a blast with this project. Gosh, Haiying, the teacher, always have this kind of crazy project. That will be fun. Okay, so, and then we see, and we need to measure this one. This is a sign, uh, this is a mathematic question. We need to measure this. Uh, uh, the base of the oh, we need to measure the base the, the base of this uh, uh, this circle and see how much we need for for the the base of this circle, the diameter of this circle, so that we can know how much parameter we need, how much parameter and how much we can glue on, right? Do I make sense? So, here, let's see, am I in the right way? It needs to be the longest, okay. There's nothing longer than this. So now it's always shorter than diameter is uh, diameter is the longest cross line of a circle, right? So let's see how much is this. It's a three point. Uh, I will use a centimeter. I'm more comfortable with centimeter. Why is this so dirty? Don't like it. So it's eight point five six seven eight point seven. Just imagine because I was on the other side of the circle, so we can we can uh, we can 
approximately make it 8.5. So we know the diameter. D equal 8.5 cm. And we want to know the parameter. Parameter equal diameter point pi. So diameter is 8.5 times 3.14. So let's do the calculation. I have a better pencil. Where is my pencil? Okay. So 3.14, 四八四八三十二一八得八十一三八二十四二十五零九六六二二十六二，所以so I need twenty six point. 26.69小数点后面三位 OK So 26 point I will need From the beginning of it 26 point 69 20 26 point 69 Let's say 27 so this is the place we need to glue on. So this is the place we need to overlap. Do I make sense now? No, we overlap this way. From this way. I like it. Oh, and this way. So twenty six point almost twenty seven. This is one, this is almost sixty nine, twenty, no, sorry, twenty six, mm -mm. twenty six. Point sixty nine, almost twenty seven, a little bit less than twenty seven. And this hose goes back. That's the problem. That is the problem. So we will glue it. Do I really glue it? I do. I should do this. goes to this line okay press we are exactly at that line and it should be a perfect Now we will see what is the problem with our design thinking. <laughs> our design thinking is such. Now we need to put this one in. Now we need to put the can in. It's, uh, uh, does not go in because here is a little bit larger than it but you do not want it to be too loose right too loose you want it to be tight so 
and put it in. Press a little bit, push a little bit. Okay, now we made these two. So what we have learned, what we have learned from this mathematical and uh, and uh, art project, what we have learned about diameter, about um, about diameter, about uh, uh, parameter, and uh, about uh, design. So we may put more, make this less tall and put a, a electric candle inside in the night. Should be fun project. What do you think? I like this project. I will need to eat a lot of uh, tuna. <laughs> okay, I like this project. I am happy with it. And it's very doable. It is doable. And then when the students finish this, they can keep on punching, 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 do, the, do some fine tuning, and use a strong enough paper. Use, um, use, uh, um, and uh, they can dedicate uh, uh, five minutes of uh, ten minutes of this. I will tell a story and let the students do the punching, not in a rush, and do my story time. Should be a good product idea. What do you think? I will make sure students must push at least um, 500 holes. How about that? That is requirement. Ooh, 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 this one is not strong. And they are not allowed to make too much noise. Will be a fun project. Once upon a time, there was an artist. No, he was a mathematician in Italy. And his name was Archimed. So he was a scientist and he liked to calculate everything. One day he found a circle and then he wanted to measure out the parameter of the circle. So he used a rope, ficelle, a piece of thread and circle the circle. And then he measured the length. Then he measured another circle, another circle, another circle, another circle, another circle, another circle, another, another, another. So he measured hundreds and thousands of circles and he started to find the relationship between the circle and the longest line, the diameter, diameter of the circle. And finally he found the circle parameter is always 3.4, always these many times of the diameter. So one day his country was in war and the bad soldiers arrested him, found him. And the bad soldiers found him and wanted to kill him because they saw one guy that was Achimed was kneeling, uh, 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 was in the middle of the room and was just walking on a circle. And the bad guy wanted to kill him. And just at this time, Archimed said, Don't kill me. Let me finish to measure and calculate the length 
of this circle. After he finished, bad things happened. Anyway, I heard this story. There, the, in this story, there are some some part I made up, and some part I learned when I went to Italy two years ago. When I went to the restaurant called Akimet, and that was the place Akimet was born. Was that Italy or where? Or Portugal? I forgot. I need to figure out. Italy. Bye bye, friends. Science and art. I'm a teacher of science. And uh, I'm teacher of uh, of mathematics and teacher of art. I have the perfect, best job in the world. Bye, bye, friends. I love you. I really do. We kind of able to see some through the light. Okay, hello dear friends. So I am kind of done with this project and uh, my, my thoughts is uh, around here. And I would like still to develop this idea and uh, I will need your input on this project. What more you can put it, what, uh, what you would like to, to get inspired and uh, and make it more complicated, more interesting, or different, or totally different idea. Anyway, I, I need your input. I need, I'm not kidding, I need, I have to have. Okay. Bye bye, friends, I love you. I really do, 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 do. Really? Do, 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 do. Okay, hello dear friends. Here is another idea I got from a friend's suggestion. It's been a long time, I just didn't use it. So, let's take a look. It's better to have uh, some variety of color. And it seems this project works well with a uh, with, um, hard piece of paper. So, you just... Uh, Cut the paper into different size of circle, but not exactly circle, and make it a little bit more interesting than just a circle. This one, I think I will need another color. If you are a teacher, you know that it's better to cut big, large paper into smaller size. It will be so much easier to cut. Flower petal are all kinds of shapes, so don't worry if if your shape is not what you like the most. In this world, everything is possible. So you can use old magazine or use some. Uh, <coughs> Use an uh, old uh, construction paper. Does not need to waste a lot of other paper. This magazine is a little bit too fancy or too trendy. They use this very somber color, very pale color. It's not so uh, children's color. It's a little bit messy here. Put it aside. The useless stuff. Now we will need a piece of a clean workspace. <coughs> Sometimes 
so we have different color a range a little bit from small to large cut to almost to the center and uh, you can glue it or use a piece of tape to make into a shape the second one i should have uh, one that has more color teeny tiny little bit one two three does not have to be perfect and uh, it's hard to be perfect this side more interesting this side this side is definitely more interesting than the white side this side oh that is more interesting teeny tiny little bit of it this side is more interesting see this side is more interesting because there is no character no words on it And this side is, we are short of this color, so we need some of this color. So now we arrange them all together. One, two, three, four, Put all of them together and you need a push pin in the center and you need um, <coughs> nine salt or something. I do not drink wine but uh, I have a dear husband who drinks wine. Hello dear husband, hello future husband. So <clears throat> this will be a little bit tough. You can start. Okay. So this is a flower and uh, <clears throat> this sample may not be so good because uh, first the problem is too many layer and there is no color color coordination and um, let's fix it right here right now i like this color i like this color this one actually does not have to be a lot does not need to be a lot The color is not contrasting enough. So how about we make something with more contrast? And I have some of this paper, some old paper. Okay. The best thing is for students to paint it actually. Let's see. Mm. Mm. Two. You make it always a little bit oval shape so that. Uh, not. It's a little bit more elongated. just the four and we will see if I do the other way how will happen so 
So do not use too hard paper. It does not work well with too hard paper. You better have some uh, relatively. And also, these uh, you can have different uh, different curve. I make it very low curve and very high curve. So make a variety of it. It makes it more interesting. Now, this will be so much. Yeah, this flower looks much more. Um, <clears throat> so one at a time. This. this will help you to. So when you have meat tray, vegetable tray, never ever throw it again. You do not need to send to Haiying, but you will give to your art teacher, your neighbor or someone who has kids. And this meat tray can be quite useful. So this is relatively quite a simple flower and, and effective. Imagine if you get students to design, to design their own uh, paper, and uh, it will be even more interesting. Let them do some uh, uh, watercolor, watercolor, um, watercolor. Um, Start with some watercolor, um, um, watercolor, uh, 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 play around with watercolor, have this watercolor, different uh, color scheme, uh, yellow one, red one, pink one, maybe it's the same color that you have different tone, tones of depth or density of the color light blue dark blue medium light medium dark and very dark very light have a variation of the same color or totally different color play with two color play with three color play with one color each class have one goal or you have your goal and let students develop into their own preference and for sure each time in the class you have your idea there will be half of the students have no idea what your idea is and uh, and uh, one quarter of students follow the teacher and uh, another quarter of the students just totally against the, the, the teacher it's always like this it's uh, always uh, there are people for you there are people against you but uh, it's important you get everyone have the chance to to experiment to experiment something. How about we put some color right here, right now? I hope my color didn't. I have some blue. I use some more blue. Let's see what will happen. This color is this paper is not absorbing. If imagine if I I use um, the the color that is absorbing and uh, allow color to to go, I will not do this. This one is not a good idea for now. It's better to prepare the paper in advance instead of uh, um, uh, playing around it. Here now. Why not? Right? Art is about making mistakes. Art is about having fun. Art is about trying something that teacher not does not allow you. Right? There's no right or wrong. And there's no right or wrong if I put blue color on the pink. Who cares? I'm sorry. 
mm -mm. fold down. You need a longer pin of the of the, the, the pin. Anyway. That's the start of a brilliant idea because it is wrong and I'm happy to be wrong. <laughs> Bye bye friends, I love you, I really do. I hope I didn't waste your time. If you are listening to this only as Ooh look at me. This is much 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 more fun. I will spray the paper and then at the edge I will <coughs> yeah I will need to spray the paper look at it look at it this is too dry I need to put some more water here and then let the color run Hello, run your way. Anyway, bye bye, friends. Have fun creating, messing, and enjoy.